Hi everybody, this is the Tut Kid. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do the Carnival Cruise Lines um, outro. Um, uh, you saw in the beginning it's not the actual Carnival Cruise Lines outro because that's copyrighted and I'm not about to do that. Um, what I did is just it's actually 3D and it's it's gonna help you if you've never done 3D in Sony Vegas. It's going to teach you how to use 3D. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to Sony Vegas. So open up it, and we're going to create four video tracks. Okay, now we're going to go to Media Generators and then White as your solid color. Now we have a we have a white background now. So make your first in your first um, layer. You have to have you have to have a solid your white solid color at your bottom layer by the way. Your first uh, me a layer you're going to put whatever you want. I'm gonna put the tut kids, and then on my second one I'm going to put YouTube. And you also need to make it a black property the the color black for the text. So it'll show up. Really, you can do whatever you want color. I just use black because it's easier. And you can also do whatever your font you like. So we're gonna cut this down and make it pretty pretty short. I'm gonna make it about a minute. I mean a second. And then we're going to stretch this out. So put your second one right after your first one. Now we're gonna get to the actual 3D part. Um, go into compositing mode right there and click 3D Source Alpha on both of them. So, now you're going to go to this thing you may or not know of. It's called uh, Track Motion. And it's going to bring up this. Now, normally it doesn't have this. Because we put it in 3D Source Alpha, it has all these different things. You can mess around with the middle and just do like flips and twists and stuff with it. Uh, but you really don't need to worry about that right now because what we're going to be doing is some precise editing so you're going to need to be at the beginning of your first uh, your first uh, media generated uh, text and bring your make a new keyframe at the very last part of that and put your y axis at 90 so you can't see it if um, you don't have this see it's not there it's going to flip and it's just going to disappear okay so now we're going to need to do basically the same thing with this one, except we're going to start the keyframe at negative 90. And we're going to start it at the exact same time that other one ends. So make the Y rotation negative 90, and then at the very end, put it at regular 90. So if you look at what you've got right now, you've just gotten a very easy flip. And it's going to go right back to that. Right back to it disappearing. Now where you actually add your logo. Um, I didn't say this before. If your logo is um, whatever the background of your logo color is, you need to have your bottom color that color. Um, because if you don't, you'll see the background turn with it and it doesn't look good. It's like a chroma key without a chroma key. So drop in your YouTube. Well, my, my logo I'm going to be using is the YouTube logo. And you're going to want to make that the exact same. Well, not really. You don't have to have it the exact same. Because you can make it longer or shorter for the end result. Uh, I'll show you how to do that earlier. And then do the exact same thing. 3D Source Alpha. And make this one negative 90. Make it start at negative 90. And end at 0. Now... If you watch this, it's going to just go straight in. It's going to say the Tuck Kids, YouTube, and then flip into the YouTube logo. Now, if you want to actually have the logo show for a few seconds, you're just going to want to move that keyframe over. So you can just move that keyframe over to about the halfway point if you want. And it will spin faster now because it's using a linear graph. So there you go. And then it just stays there for a second and then goes off. 
You make fades. You can do any type of animation you want. Transitions even. Really, the possibilities are endless with this. Um, it's quick, it's easy, and it's neat to mess around with. Um, right now, just a quick update. Um, there's not going to be a project file for this, first of all, because it's very easy, simple, and it's really hard to mess up. Second, um, my domain is expired. I will either, if I get in enough money, I will buy it again if I'm going to work on it. But I've actually got a job designing websites, so I'll probably be designing other people web people's websites right now. So I won't have much time to work on it. Um, so probably you'll see the links in media, Mediafire.com. Mediafire is very great. You don't have to wait. And it checks for viruses. It scans them before you can actually download them. So um, there's some updates. And I hope to be making more tutorials. I know it's been eight months since my last tutorial. I'm very sorry. So yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. Tuck it out. <laughs>